Welcome to Ground Control. Today's item for review is this little tiny micro DSM2 DSMX receiver. I have a couple, and it's a low voltage receiver. I have a couple of low voltage micro servos connected to it. The thing that's really neat about this receiver is not only does it have a built in 2 amp brushed ESC so that it can support a brushed motor and I have tested it with a brushed motor and it does it does run up a brushed motor but the thing that I think is really cool about this is on this forward port right here you can connect an external brushless speed controller and motor to it and it will also control not only a brushed motor but a brushless ESC and motor but you do have to have an external brushless speed controller in order to do that but um, yeah I purchased this so I could use it for a micro trainer airplane that I want to build and I also want to convert the F949 over to brushless system but I've got a 1306 3100 kV motor hooked up to it I have a 7 amp opto ESC um, connected into a a switching voltage regulator that supplies 4.2 volts to the board to the receiver board and to the servos because I'm going to be running this off of a two cell lipo you don't want you want to make sure that you don't supply too much voltage to this receiver if you're just going to use a one cell lipo that that'll work out fine but I'm going to use a two cell I will have links to everything in the show notes to this receiver to the speed controller that I'm using, to the motor, to the uh, switching voltage regulator, and to the micro servos. So you, you need to, if you're going to order servos for this receiver, you need to make sure that you get the right connectors on there. And these connectors are JST SH with a pitch of 1.0 millimeters because most of the most of the servos that I've come across are 1.25 pitch and those will not fit in those sockets so keep that in mind and I'll also have that information in the show notes but let me go ahead and I and this is great because I'm going to be able to use my hobby transmitter with it but uh, let me go ahead and connect up a two cell lipo and we'll activate the servos and let me pull out a little bit so you can see this so you can see this one right here actuating in the elevator channel and then this servo I have in the aileron channel hopefully you can see that move but this is a cool little receiver the receiver the, rece the weight of the receiver with the JST connector that I that I soldered onto it only weighs 1.64 grams. I mean, I think my JST connector and my and my two leads right here are probably half of that weight. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and run up this motor. Now, is that isn't that slick? I mean, I have I have never seen a. a a receiver this small that could support a brushed or a brushless motor so this this is really this is really an excellent little deal of course I have to do a field test of it first so I'm trying to get all this stuff installed in this um, WL Toys F949 I've got all the electronics ripped out of it including the brushed motors I'm going to be installing this brushless motor and these electronics and we're going to see how this plane flies as a brushless system but yeah, look look for all the links in the show notes, and and then um, shortly I will have a video up of the field test of this little tiny receiver and these servos and and how it operates the brushless motor. So thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Patreon site because we have a lot of free content there as well. And I will see you in the air.